Welcome to the Zoom Player Keyboard Usage Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use the keyboard to control the Zoom Player. To begin with, we'll open the Keyboard Function Search dialog. You can do this by pressing the F1 key. As you can see, Zoom Player has a lot of functions, and each function is connected to a key. As you can see, the functions are divided into sections. You have information, interface, image, audio, video, and subtitles, and playback section. As you can see, you have several columns. You have the description column, which tells you what the function does. You have the key column, which tells you which key to press. And you have the special key column, which tell you which combination of keys together with the activation key will call the functions. For example, to show the current version, you would have to hold the Alt key, the Shift key, the Control key, and then hit the V key to show the current version. Since Zoom Player has so many functions, you have this very handy search box at the bottom of this dialog which you can use to search for any function you need. For example, let's search for uh, one of the seek functions. So I'll just type in seek and click enter, and you will see the seek function highlighted here. By clicking enter once more, you can have, you can search for more functions with the word seek in them. Beyond these keyboard shortcuts, you also have a keyboard interface dialog here in the options, which you can use to set uh, special keys, special navigation keys. These are the arrow keys, the up, down, left, right keys, and the enter key, which is used to select items and the space key, which is usually used to show um, the, the control bar, but you can change that. By default, you would usually have the enter key associated with opening the last open navigator, um, but I usually use the media library, so I, I found it handy to have it selected for the enter key. Next, you can select custom functions for each one of these keys for, by pressing the little plus sign. You can have different functions for the left-right keys, like controlling the video position or uh, the volume level. Same for the up and down keys. You can even set a custom function and set it here a different custom for the up key and for the down key. And here you can specify a keyboard mapping file, which we will discuss in a separate tutorial, but you can have a different file for DVD mode and a different file for media mode. That's it for the using Zoom Player with a keyboard tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it and come back for our next tutorial.